Welcome back, you're watching Morning Live. Thank you very much for staying with us. Now, our guest also this morning believes that his existence serves as a beacon of hope for those that are still trapped in struggling with change. In his debut book titled Navigate Humans, Be Against Normality, uh, Tlumelo Nyaluza gives the reader the 101 of moving from nothing to everything. This is through his life journey and experiences where he navigated himself to achieving his dreams. Tlumelo joins me now in the studio to talk about the book and what he calls the world's most unique book. Tlumelo, thank you very much for joining me. Maybe let's start with that, that final statement. It's titled The World's Most Unique Book. Why? Um, well, I've added four elements to the book that yeah. make it, uh, makes it the world's most unique book. And one of those elements is the fact that um, when you're reading the book, instead of reading it from um, front to back, you read it from back to, to front. front. Okay. Yeah. So like when you're going through the acknowledgements and the contents page and everything, when you're expecting to see chapter one, it's written at the end. It's just the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, yeah. does, that, does that lead to my next question? Is that why you're wearing your pants outside in <laughs> and your shirt the wrong way around? Yeah, it's, it's, it's why I'm wearing my shirt like this and my, my outfit probably. Because um, I believe that if you preach something, you've got to show action that mm. you, you mean what um, you're preaching and you've got to lead by example. So with me, I have normal, normal things bore, bore me a lot. I don't want to lie. So that's why I always go against the norm. I've been so like you that. drive in reverse to wherever you're going? Yeah, no. No, no, no. <laughs> not, not actually. <laughs> Talk to me about the human navigation philosophy. Break that down for me. What is the, what is the, the concept behind this idea? Well, the human navigation philosophy is like self-explanatory because, um, yeah, it's, it's like a human that has got um, the guts or has got the dream of leading other humans into the future or mm. leading them towards the right direction. For instance... Um, Let's say that you want to be a lawyer mm -hmm. and you want to be a leader amongst um, lawyers. So you are going to like make everything that you can and you're going to inspire and motivate people in every way that you can to lead, to lead them towards the right direction or to lead them towards the future of the industry. So the human navigation philosophy is all about navigating all other people that mm. amongst um, your field of destiny. Well, people could argue that could probably be yeah. or arguably one of the most difficult things to do to navigate <laughs> humans. It's really, um, it's really hard. Define normality for me because I think maybe it's, a, it's, it's more subjective than an objective question. Normality to me is um, what the society thinks of um, certain things, mm. you understand? For instance, the, so the society thinks that um, if you want to write a book, you have to write it from front to back. That's, mm. that's the normal way of doing things. So if you're against normality, it's writing the book and um, having people reading the book from mm. back to front. So that's, what, that's how I can define normality. It's like give me, give me a practical example on a day-to-day, -day, uh, practical example of a day-to-day -day experience where Tlumelo is as living a normality what is that normality normality um it's like waking up in the morning having a cup of coffee um tuning on to the television set and stuff for someone like my age <clears throat> that's normal mm. but for me i wake up in the morning i just listen to classic music i meditate and i write down maybe some tasks that I have to do for the day and I make sure that I push myself to do stuff that um, other people couldn't do or other people mm. don't even think of doing. Because for instance, it took me 19 days to write the book. 19, 19 days? 19 days, one nine. Wow. I anticipated to write it in one month, but I was like, now that I'm a person that um, believes in being against the norm or I'm a person that likes pushing himself because I want to navigate humans towards the future, I just decided to push myself. But the cost, let, let me ask you about the cost of living a, a life like that, because it took you 19 days to write the book. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know whether you sat in front of your laptop or computer every minute of the hour in order to meet that deadline for a month, because there is a cost when you kind of live a life where you say, I'm going to do things my way. Yeah. Well, if you want to be amongst the leaders, like you, you've mm -hmm. got to sacrifice a lot. So the moment I started writing the book, I, I knew that I had to like stop everything. I had to cancel every schedule and focus entirely on the book. Because um, when I was writing the book, it took me like seven hours. I took seven to eight hours a day in front of the laptop nonstop. And I would sleep with my eyes swollen and, and stuff like that. Mm. So it takes um, a lot of sacrifice and hard work. So and now the book is available in the, bookstores book and it's all over the country. Who knew that a book that is read backwards would be available in bookstores? <laughs> <laughs> 
So talk to me about um, your life journey. At what point, where were you when you decided that, you know what, I, this normal, normalcy that is uh, mass induced, I'm, I'm not, I don't want to live that life. Well, um, when I was young, it's a true story. When I was young, I was fascinated about magic. I would pray to God that God, I want to have, like, I want to have superpowers instead. So my dad was like, he was, he didn't like the obsession. So when Princess Diana passed away, she was like, he was like, um, Princess Diana was the queen of um, cartoons and power and stuff. Mm. So the cartoon has, has gone with her. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> so I started seeing people like um, Bill Gates, um, yeah. Steve Jobs, Donald Trump. Um, who else? Uh, Sir Richard Branson and mm. Patrick Mutepe doing magical things without the magic wand. So I was like, mm, I think this is where I want to be. This is how I want to live my life. I want to inspire people. I want to empower people. Not by just, um, not by just going out there and giving out speeches, but mm. by giving all that I have, all that I can. For instance, for this book, I decided to give 30% of my proceeds to the dreaming youth, the extremely driven visionaries, the people that have been knocking mm. on doors, but no one um, is there to open for them. It's time, it's about time we knock those doors down. <laughs> so you embark on this journey of writing a book. You set this deadline for 30 days. You finish the book in 19 days. Yeah. What was the aha moment while you were writing this book? What was the one thing they said, oh, I never really thought about it? Because when you write a book, you have to go through a thinking process, mm. and then you've got to be able to kind of put that down in some kind of yeah. structure. What was your aha moment? Well, the aha moment, I got it before I even wrote the book. I got the moments because I've, uh, when I was growing up, I've been experimenting on different event God and um, projects mm. my whole life. Like I gave up my childhood for this thing. So I, I got the aha moments back then. I, 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 and what was it? What was your aha moment that you share? What's the one aha moment that you share with everybody? People can walk on water. That people can? people can walk on water like nothing is impossible mm. and i mean it like i was talking to my friend um Umzu Vukile Fikilepi. we've been friends for 17 years and he was he he's always wanted to sing and um he was stressed that i don't know what to do blah blah, blah. i was like lolly you should start believing that anything can happen mm. your dreams can come true if you put your mind to it and, and no better way it's the beginning of a brand new year very quickly, you've got to launch this afternoon at Scoobs in Monte Cassino. Yeah, um, it's going to be at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I'll be giving a chance for people to come and get the book at yeah. Monte Cassino Scoobs. And I'll be doing some signing so um, yeah, people can just go to Monte Cassino Scoobs. But you also want them to dress a certain way. No, it's, it's for the main, that's for the main launch. That's okay, for that's main for the main launch. Yeah, so I'll be there. And um, yeah, now that I'm a self-published author, I would like um, the listeners, or the viewers rather, to go out there, go to Amazon, and search for Navigate Humans, Be Against Normality, and purchase the book. It's the world's most unique thing. It's, we've got to pay attention to this thing. We've got to be together and unite and... Okay, so you've given your, your, your 20 second punt. <laughs> the book is called uh, Navigate Humans, Be Against Normality. The author is Clumelo Nadluza. He's in studio with us talking about the world's most unique book. It's back to front. Go and purchase it. Let's make this young man's dreams come true. We take an ad break. Don't go anywhere. Thanks, Thanks.